We've got some evening and overnight showers into the region. It's likely to be under a tenth of an inch. And the bigger thing going on, this is going to happen while you're asleep or while you're at home. Uh, and again, not really affecting you getting around that kind of thing. 14 to 20 mile an hour winds at 2 o'clock in the morning. Look at the winds, though. By 4 o'clock in the morning, 15, 25. And by 7 o'clock, gusting to around 30. Still some cloud cover. That uh, wind is ushering in, is dropping in some colder air for the region. I'm going to hive around 4. 48 degrees for the afternoon tomorrow. Wind should drop off by the end of the day and skies should clear off uh, coming up by Tuesday more uh, by uh, Tuesday evening and Tuesday more uh, Monday evening and Tuesday morning. Monday during the afternoon, a bit more cloud cover starts moving back on in, remaining into the mid 40s for a high temperature, much lighter winds. And by Wednesday morning, very early around four o'clock, uh, we're seeing some rainfall move on in. And what's going on is something called an Alberta Clipper, which is going to be diving. Uh, southward of us. It'll be diving across North Carolina and reforming offshore. That'll start to kick in with some wind by the end of the day coming up on Wednesday. There's where we are by Wednesday uh, afternoon at 1, and you can see 10 to 20 mile an hour winds even by 1 in the afternoon, likely stronger winds by later on in the afternoon as well. So 48 degrees coming up for the day tomorrow. It'll be breezy through the day and then dropping off tomorrow night. 45, that's it for a high coming up on Tuesday, 49 on Wednesday, but we're going to see some scattered rainfall, especially the first part of the day, uh, 50, 51 degrees on Friday. Warmest day looks to be Friday with 56 and a cooler again. Highs only in the 40s uh, for next weekend.